When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. He cut off the heads of 131. Hey everybody, Jerry Williams, aka Greater Sapien here. Thanks for stopping by. Today we look at numbers 175, 176, 177, and 178 of Eric Dubé's 200 Proofs, The Earth is Not a Spitting Ball. 175. Professional photo analysts have dissected several NASA images of the ball Earth and found undeniable proof of computer editing. For example, images of the Earth allegedly taken from the moon have proven to be copied and pasted in, as evidenced by rectangular cuts found in the black background around the Earth by adjusting brightness and contrast levels. If they were truly on the moon and Earth was truly a ball, there would be no need to fake such pictures. Yeah. I did a whole video on this one years ago where I reproduced the exact same look and showed that it was just JPEG compression artifacts. The link is in the description. Moving on, 176. When NASA, NASA's images of the ball Earth are compared with one another, the coloration of the land and oceans and relative size of the continents are consistently so drastically different from one another as to prove beyond any reasonable doubt that the pictures are all fake. Different image capturing systems have different color gamuts, and depending on how they are taken and how they are processed, and every photo you have ever seen has been processed in some way, colors will appear differently. As for the appearance of the size of continents, I made a video about that years ago where I replicated the effect using a camera and a globe. There it is. Go to the link in the description to see it at regular speed. 177. In the documentary, A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Moon, you can watch official leaked NASA footage showing Apollo 11 astronauts Buzz Aldrin, Neil Armstrong, and Michael Collins for almost an hour using transparencies and camera tricks to fake shots of around Earth. They communicate over audio with Control in Houston about how accurately uh, to accurately stage the shot, and someone keeps prompting them on how to effectively manipulate the camera to achieve the desired effect. First, they blacked out all the windows except for a downward-facing circular one, which they aimed the camera towards from several feet away. This created the illusion of a ball-shaped Earth surrounded by the blackness of space, when, in fact, it was simply a round window in their dark cabin. Neil Armstrong claimed this uh, point to be 130,000 miles from the Earth, halfway to the moon, but when camera tricks were finished, the viewer could see for themselves the astronauts were not more than a couple dozen miles above the Earth's surface, likely flying in a high-altitude plane. <sighs> Understand. A funny thing happened on the way to the moon is the reason I started making videos. My man, Iceberg Slick, who made all of the music I use in these videos, was a moon landing denier and suggested that documentary. You know what? I, I was arguing with my homeboy uh, and he, this dude don't believe in any conspiracy, but we've been going back and forth on that moon shit. I personally don't believe that we sent men to the moon in 1969. Uh, there's a great documentary called a funny thing happened on the way to the moon that you can look up. And because I watched that documentary, I started making videos. Check out my videos based on claims made in that garbage film. But in short, the makers of that film selectively edited out portions of the footage that disproved their claims. Looking at the original footage, wasn't leaked, it was released, you can see that the window they were filming out of was not round, 
and when the camera swings around, you can see where the round window actually was. I'm not going to cut away, but I will speed it up a bit as I talk. The published specs and the crafts on display in museums show that the command module had only one round window. The others were rectangular and triangular with straight edges. If one wanted to, he could argue that it's possible that the window we were looking at was the round window, except for the fact that the round window is seen right here. I was doing this debunking back in 2012. Now, I'm not saying Dubay should have seen my video back in 2012, but that shows that the information was available to those who actually did their research, which Dubay clearly did not. 178. People claim Google Earth somehow proves the ball model without realizing that Google Earth is simply a composite program of images taken from high altitude planes and street level car cameras superimposed onto a CGI model of a ball Earth. The same could be just as easily modeled onto a square Earth or any other shape and therefore cannot be used as proof of Earth's rotundity. You know, I would be inclined to agree with you here, except for the fact that transcontinental flight paths, which are impossible to plot accurately on a flat or square Earth, can be accurately plotted on Google Earth, which shows it more accurately represents the shape of the Earth. That being said, saying you can't use Google Earth to prove the globe is not proof against the globe. That's my job, that's what I do! I don't lose! I win! I win! Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory. 